In today's video, I'm gonna tell you how you can win one of two $50 gift certificates. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, Rouse Rising. If you're new here, my name is Katie, and today I'm sharing with you a delicious meatball recipe. On this channel, I love to share with you nourishing meal prep. If you are into all of that, be sure you click the subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Rouse Rising family. We would love to have you stick around and enjoy some of these meals alongside us. This video today is sponsored by Four Jars. Four Jars is a canning lid company. They make both wide mouth and regular canning lids. And I have been using these for a few months now and have not had a single lid fail. Each one of my four jars lids has sealed in all of my canning adventures over the last few months. And I'm happy to report that I can recommend these to you. Now with my code, you're going to save 10% at the four jars canning website. So everything is going to be linked down below in this video's description, but wait, there's more. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can win one of two $50 gift certificates to Four Jars Canning website. This video is a collaboration with 22 channels, and each of those channels is going to be sharing with you how to use your canned jams in a recipe. So canned jam isn't just for peanut butter and jelly. You can use it for a variety of things, and like I said, today I'm showing you how to make a delicious meatball recipe using my canned elderberry jam. So back to four jars, they are gonna be giving two $50 gift certificates. All you have to do is comment down in the comments below what you love about four jars. Basically comment down below and you have entered yourself in a chance to win one of two $50 gift certificates from four jars. And if you go to all the other channels linked down in this video's description, you can comment on their videos for your chance to win on their four jars drawing. At the end of August, Four Jars is giving away one $100 Visa gift card gift certificate to one of the subscribers that comments on one of the Jamboree Collaborative videos. Can't wait to hear from you down in the comments. Be sure that you go to my community tab so that you can find out if you're a winner for the Four Jars $50 gift certificate. Okay, without further ado, let me tell you all about this meatball recipe. Now, typically with a meatball recipe, you're going to want to use a combination of a red meat, whether it's um, a lamb or a cow meat, or maybe you have elk or deer meat that you want to use. And then you want to use about a third to a half of that amount in a pork or another fatty meat in your meatball recipe. And that just makes sure that the meatballs are nice and juicy and tasty so that you can enjoy them. First, let me tell you, I quadrupled this recipe. So I'm gonna give you the basic meatball recipe and then you can do with that as you please. But in this video, you're gonna see a huge bowl and a whole lot of meat. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that. But the basic recipe is one pound ground red meat and then you're gonna add half a pound of ground pork. You wanna add one half a cup of breadcrumbs and then one half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. To the mixture, you wanna add one egg. That's gonna help it all stick together and give it some moisture. And you also wanna add in two uh, chopped cloves of garlic. Before this video, I'm gonna be using half a teaspoon of garlic powder in this recipe and one full teaspoon of onion powder. And like I said, I quadrupled the recipe. Um, so you're gonna see a lot more go into this mixture. Once you have all of your uh, meat mixed together, what I like to do is really knead the meat together and get everything nice and cohesive. So I knead it like bread. I fold it and I push and I fold and I push until my mixture is nice and smooth and mixed together. You want to use, um, I like to use one of those cookie, uh, like an ice cream scoop. So I'm using a cookie scoop to measure out and portion the meatballs so that they're all nicely the same size. That way they all cook uh, really well together. And then I put these in an oven at 375 degrees. You could do 400 degrees, but I noticed my oven runs really hot. So the recommended uh, temperature is 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And I did 375 for 20 minutes and that 
cooked my meatballs just perfect. Now you'll notice in my mixture, I used all red meat, I used all elk meat. So if you do eat pork, definitely don't forget to add that. Otherwise, maybe just cook your meatballs medium rare. Don't overcook them, but with the pork, you definitely need the full cook time at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Uh, but you can also check the temperature and make sure that it is the correct temperature for your pork. Okay, and then to make the barbecue sauce for the meatballs, I used rhubarb fresh from the garden and it turned out delicious. I'm going to be doing this every single year with my rhubarb hands down a delicious recipe. So I got this recipe idea from Becky over at Acre Homestead and she has a barbecue sauce recipe. You can check it out on her channel, but I just kind of gathered from that what I could. And then I, of course, made my own recipe because that's what I do. In this kitchen, you're going to see that I make do with what I have and I always, I always encourage you to make do with what you have. Use the ingredients that you have on hand and you can substitute different things. It's not going to taste exactly like what I make, but when you follow a recipe, when does it ever taste like the person who gave you the recipe? I've never been able to duplicate someone else's recipe because they put a different kind of love in it that I put in it. So for her barbecue sauce, uh, rhubarb barbecue sauce recipe, I used four cups of fresh chopped up rhubarb. I used about one medium sized onion. I used, I used half a cup of white vinegar and I also used half a cup of apple cider vinegar. I did four cups of sugar, four tablespoons of molasses. I did a teaspoon of salt and I did two cups of raisins. You can optionally add a uh, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of liquid smoke if you're into that. And then for the dry uh, seasonings, I did a half a tablespoon of dry mustard, a half a tablespoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I also did half of a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And I think in Becky's recipe, she called for some chipotle seasoning as well as some red Korean pepper. But I left both of those out of my recipe because I just didn't have those ingredients to put in it. So you cook all of the ingredients on your stovetop. You can simmer them in your instant pot or simmer them on your stovetop until everything is nice and mushy and nice and soft. And then you wanna use an immersion blender or a normal blender. I prefer an immersion blender. It works much better for me and then I'm not transferring hot sauce to a blender. And you wanna blend it until it's nice and smooth. Once you have it smooth, you can decant it into your clean jars. Put on your uh, warmed four jars canning lids. I just had them sitting in a warm thing of water. And then you're gonna water bath these for about 20 minutes in a boiling bath of water with two inches of water covering the tops of the lids and then boom there you have it your delicious barbecue sauce recipe that you can use alongside your canned jam to make a delicious barbecue meatball recipe this is perfect for super bowl this is perfect for the holidays for those parties that you're going to if you want to wow a crowd with a recipe then you definitely want to wow them with the elderberry barbecue sauce rhubarb barbecue sauce meatballs man they were delicious and hard to keep so what we did with these was we put them on some sliced homemade bread along with some fresh homemade sauerkraut and they were delicious meatball sandwiches you can also throw them on top of rice or some kind of korean bowl rice bowl. Uh, there's so many ways that you can use these barbecue meatballs. You can also just eat them as an appetizer. So we enjoyed them sandwich style. The whole family loved them and I'm happy to share this recipe with you all. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Give this video a like that is a thumbs up and click subscribe because you don't want to miss out on hearing who won the two $50 four jar gift certificates from my channel and then if you check all the channels linked down in this video's description they're also giving away two gift certificates then at the end of this month four jars is going to be giving away a 100 dollars visa gift card 
to one of the subscribers that comments on any of the 22 channels Jamboree videos. I know that seems like a lot, but really all you have to do is comment on the Jamboree videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see who wins from my channel. It's going to be on my community tab. I'm going to make an announcement there, and then I'll post a video announcement to let you all know who won the four jars gift certificates from my channel. Until next time, you guys. Bye!